Hey y'all, it's Christy from t Dottles. Today I'm going to show you how to put zipper tabs on the end of nylon zippers. Um, first I'd like to say welcome new subscribers and welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me and my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the sewing things, the yarny things, and the DIY things. So you'll see a little bit of all of that here on this channel. So if you like to make things, you might like it here. Um, so I said that this is for nylon zippers because it's a little bit different when you're dealing with a metal zipper. Uh, because you cannot sew over a metal zipper without breaking your needle. I've done it many times. I've broken my needle on nylon zippers, mostly because I hit the metal tabs at the end. And there's also metal tabs here at the end of this zipper. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to finish an end, uh, put a zipper tab for a bag that you will fully sew the zipper in. Um, and I will show you how to do it for a zipper tab for when you want to leave uh, your zipper tail hanging out of the bag, okay? Um, and that is, do I have an example of that? So this is an example of the zipper tab sewn within. You finish it a little bit differently than the one that you do uh, if you're gonna leave the, the, it hanging out of the bag, okay? I don't have a bag currently where the tail is hanging out, but uh, if you leave the tail hanging out, you're gonna wanna finish all the sides. You don't have to finish all the sides if you're doing uh, doing it for just a, a bag where it's within uh, the fabric, okay? Um, so, for the ones that are within the fabric, this is, you can use bias binding for this as well, but I like to add a different fabric or something, just give a little pop to um, my bags. This just gives you a nice flat uh, finish on the end for a zipper instead of just a regular zipper end and it just looks a little nicer in your bags. Um, so this is a two inch strip of fabric and I usually have uh, fabric strips left from uh, cutting fabric or doing whatever and uh, so I utilize them for zipper tabs. And I'll just do one whole length like this because I can do a bunch of them at one time. If you're making a bunch of bags at one time, that would be uh, an easy way to accomplish this. That would be like streamline or dust. No, they don't call it that. Uh, it just streamline your, streamlines your sewing if you're doing a bunch of bags at one time. We'll put it that way. So all I did to... Uh, make this work is I folded it in half and then I folded in the sides to meet the halfway point like that. Uh, and then you fold it and you give it a nice press and then you have, uh, well, I can't really say it's bias binding because I didn't cut this on the bias, but it's a type of binding. This is how you make binding for quilts and things, except you typically sew it on the, the bias just because it gives it a little stretch. So now, uh, well, I have to prep my zipper before I do this, okay? Um, and I usually, when I'm doing this particular one, I will cut these tabs off to the metal portion, okay? Now, you can cut off this metal one if you're worried you're going to hit the zipper, but this is going to be at the back side of my binding strip, so I'm not really worried about that, um, because... I can just tuck it in just like this and I'm only going to sew across this portion here, okay? I'm not going to be sewing back there, so my middle end is not going to be in the way of my needle. Um, and I do the same thing on the other end. Um, this will help you prevent you from hitting that metal piece and you don't have to cut it off for this one, okay? So I do it just like that. And I'm going to go over here and stitch this on so you can see what it looks like. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I have uh, my tab sewn on each end of the zipper. If this is... There we go. Um, I do... When I when I do this, I, uh, I put a back stitch at the beginning and at the end. All right, this keeps this from coming loose. Uh when you're trying to sew and then, then your whole zipper tab can come off because it's not a very long stitch. So I do that on both ends. Um, and so this is ready for a putting in a bag. All right. Um, 
you, you can see how it gives a nice finish to the end uh, and it provides a zipper stop still and uh, you can just have that little contrast at the end um, it's because when you sew in the zipper you uh, sew in this this part fully um, so that's why you don't have to finish this end on this particular zipper tab and when I was uh, it, it's also easier to do if you make a strip like this even if you're not sewing a bunch of them but uh, what I do is after I cut the end off of something, cut the end off of that. I would sew this one, and then I would tuck in my next zipper. Go ahead and cut the zipper tab off that. After I sew that one, so that's how I go when I'm doing a bunch of zipper tabs. It makes it much easier than trying to cut it the exact length of the zipper and sew it. So it's a tiny piece of fabric to hold on to. So cut, doing a strip like this for your zipper tab. Much easier to do when you're doing this type of zipper tab. All right. <clears throat> now, let me just clear away some things. Okay. Now we're going to put on a, a tab on the end that looks, uh, that is completely enclosed, um, like this one here, uh, that would be hanging out of your bag. So you have to finish the sides as well in order for it to not to fray and things like that. So, um, that is what we're going to be working on this time. Um, I like to put them in bags. Sometimes I make smaller bags and I just don't want to cut off the zipper. Uh, it just kind of makes it uh, a little easier to get into a smaller bag if you do this. Um, and sometimes it just makes a little handle on the end. Um, and I just like the way it looks. So that is the zipper tab we're doing next. Um, so I use... These are two inch squares that come out of my bags, my mini maker bags, um, but for the corners to do the box bottom. So uh, I save all these. I can use them for quilts or I can use them for zipper tabs. Um, I don't need a long strip like this. If you'll remember, this was two inches wide as well. Um, so this is two inch square um, because you're gonna fully encompass this and I don't wanna have to cut things off. So I just use a two inch square. It just makes it a lot easier. If you want it to be a different length, you can you can play with that. Um, but this is the one I use. So we're gonna first. You need to have your fabric facing up, um, and you're gonna put your tab. Your zipper is facing up as well, and you're gonna put your zipper all the way to the end across the two-inch square and kind of center it up. Um, you don't have to worry too much about how centered it is. You don't have to mark it or anything like that. You just don't want to have one side to be so much less fabric to fold over than the other side, okay? So we're going to tuck these sides in like this, basically, okay? If they cross over, it doesn't matter. Uh, it'll still work. You'll just have more fabric in there. So you don't want to get it too bulky. But I'm going to go over here and hit this with the iron right quick. Right. That just will hold that in place for me better. Um, you can put a little clip on the end if you want to. I've just been doing this so long, I don't need to. I'm going to stitch across this end 3 8 to a quarter inch. Uh, just somewhere in there from the end, okay? And if I forgot to mention, this right here is about an eighth of an inch from the edge of this. Um, you can go up further if you want. Um, that just will catch your, your end. I just like it to be that close. Um, because the fabric is folded in so far, you could go up further. But you're just going to have this little flippy part. So I'm trying to avoid having too much of a flip where the zipper hits. So that's why I go an eighth of an inch from the edge. For this part, we're going to sew three-eighths to a quarter inch from the end. Right across the whole thing. Okay? I'll be right back. I'll show you what it's like. Okay, I've got my stitches in. Sewed them across just like that. I did do some back stitching over the end of the zipper, or uh, over the the zipper itself, uh, because it's um, it doesn't have a zipper end anymore. 
just to kind of hold that together better. Um, you're going to do more stitching on this, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I just like to put some stitches back and forth over that since we cut out the metal uh, stopper for it. All right. So now that you have this here, you're going to take this and open it up and just pull it up just like that. See? Now it's flipped right side out. Uh, you have this nice finish on one side already. All right. So I'm going to hit this with the iron one more time to hold these sides in. All right, so the next thing I've got to do is fold this end in so that this side is finished as well. So we're going to fold this in uh, again about a quarter inch or so. I don't measure this. <laughs> um, you just want to, you don't want to go all the way to here because, or you can, but we're going to fold this in half again just like that to make our end. So if you want it shorter, you can do that. I like mine to be a little bigger, so I'm just going to go in a quarter of an inch. I'm going to iron this again. And if you get a little fraying going on while you're doing this, just go ahead and snip out those ends. It just keeps them out of the way. And uh, you don't have to worry about them when you finish it. You're trying to get them snipped out. Uh, so now that we have that in, I'm going to fold it and ha fold it again until it meets, it meets this, okay? You can overlap it slightly if you want to, um, but I like to try to get it as even as I can because when I stitch, it's going to show on both sides. So sometimes you get these little corners wanting to come out. I just tuck them in as best I can. Um, when I'm sewing, I can tuck them in more easily uh, because I can take like a, um, it's called a, I'm going to show you, it's called a purple thing. All right. Ooh, too close. So when I'm stitching, this is called a purple thing. You can use it for all kinds of whatever's but it has this nice little pointy end that's not uh too pointy to poke holes in your fabric but you can take it and push things in like that when you're sewing okay just like that now uh so now i have to stitch i'll start on this side and i'll stitch down then i'll turn and i'll come across this front part and then I'll turn again and go across here, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like uh, after I get it finished up. Um, so I'll be right back again. Okay, I've got my zipper tab done. Um, I'll try to get this as close as I can and in the light. Um, when I do this, I back stitch here. So one important thing about when you're doing these zipper tabs, this is not a fast sewing detail. This is a detail you need to do slowly, okay? So if you're like me and you have a, a, a heavy foot when it comes to your uh, presser foot, you can, uh, some machines have a thing where you can slow it down. So you, even if you push all the way down, it won't go as fast, okay? But that's just a little tip from someone who, who likes to put the, the a pedal to the metal, as they say. <laughs> uh, so, and also another tip is if, it, if you're finding that it's trying to suck your uh, fabric into the machine, uh, start a little further up and sew a few stitches, then go backwards off the fabric. And then when you come back up, if it's wanting to suck it in, the, the threads that are at the back behind your needle, uh, pull on that just a little bit. Don't pull on it hard because it can break the threads. Just pull it a little bit to, to, to guide it and keep it from going down into the uh, plate. Um, so then I go here and I go over this and back stitch back up. And usually I go back stitch here. I think I forgot to do that there. Um, this just reinforces the corners a little bit. This is a tiny detail and it's something that's going to be grabbed a lot. So I'm trying to reinforce the edges to make it 
not come loose as easily. Uh, and so then I go back this away and I go over and I back stitch and come back, back stitch and then go back, back stitch. Okay. Uh, now do this all in one step um, just by rotating the zipper and <clears throat> And that just gives a more continuous thread in there so you don't have as many loose ends with your thread even if you back stitch. So that is how you do a fully enclosed zipper tab end. And now when you sew your zipper and it's hanging out, uh, you don't have frayed edges, okay? So I hope everyone found that useful. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you have uh, another tutorial you'd like to see you can also let me know down in the comments uh, or my email is available below so i hope y'all found this useful and remember to have a, a life lived creatively i'll see y'all next time bye